Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question three, part C, from the June 2022 Cambridge, oh, sorry, yeah, Cambridge 0580 IGCSE paper four, variant one. Um, this question is starts off about simultaneous equations, but it ends up being about basically trig equations. So I'm going to save this under the title or the playlist of solving trig equations so the f the beginning of the question tells us about it tells us to solve this pair of simultaneous equations which is pretty simple like you have equation one here and you have equation two now the second equation here we want to try to make um, one of the coefficients the same either the p or the q but we can do that by multiplying this whole equation by two this is solving by elimination we could also use a substitution, but I think elimination would be better here. So if we multiply this whole equation by 2, this becomes 2p minus 2q equals minus 1. Just remember to multiply everything by 2 on both sides. Um, that becomes now, I'll call it equation 3. And if I write down equation 1 underneath it, so everything looks close by, you've got 2p plus q equals 2. Now here we can see that in these two equations... The p's have the same coefficient and the same sign. So if I do equation, let me do equation 1 minus equation 2, uh, equation 3, sorry. I'm going to subtract this way. Why? Because the q term will end up as positive. It's a bit easier to deal with. So if I subtract upwards, that becomes 0, which is what we want, eliminated. And q minus minus 2q is going to be q plus 2q. So you have q minus minus 2q, just to show the steps. And this is 2 minus minus 1. That is going to give you 3q equals 3. So q is equal to 3 divided by 3, which is 1. In which case, we can say that um, if we look for p, p is e, p minus 1 equals minus a half. So p is going to be minus a half plus 1. So p equals a half. So we have p equals a half and q equals 1. Um, those are the two solutions to this equation. We can check our answer to make sure that it works. If I multiply... 2 by a half, I get 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. That works. And if I do P minus Q, so if I do a half minus 1, I get minus half. So we know that those two answers are correct. So that's pretty simple, um, just solving a pair of simultaneous equations. You must show your steps, however, when you do it. Don't just write the answer down so that the examiner knows you didn't just stick it in your calculator and get the answer. Now, for part 2, it says hence. A very important word, hence. It means using your answers from the previous part of the question. Solve for z for u between 0 and 360 degrees and for v between 0 and 360 degrees. Solve the simultaneous equations as given. Now, what we notice here, whenever it says hence, always look for connections between what you have and what you were given in the previous part of the question. So you can see like the sine u is like 2 sine u here and then sine u there. And that's 2p and that's p. That's plus cosine v. That's plus q. That's minus cosine v. That's minus q. 2 and minus half, they're almost identical to each other. All right, they're basically identical to each other, except the P has been replaced by um, sine U. And the Q has been replaced by cosine V. All right, so if we get our answers from before, which are P equals a half and Q equals 1, we can then, therefore, we can say if P equals a half, we can therefore say that means that sine u is equal to a half. That would be the solution to this. Okay. And if q is equal to cosine v, okay, which we know. So if q is equal to 1, cosine v is equal to 1. So if we know that q is equal to 1 and q is equal to cosine v, that means cosine v must also equal 1. So we need to solve this pair of equations, this, these equations between the values of 0 and 360. And I wrote this, I put, I put this down here so we could compare. We compare, they're almost the same, exactly the th same thing, except P has replaced by sine U and Q by cosine V. So always look for, whenever it says hence, look for that connection. All right, so now what we have to do is solve this, these equations, okay, and find all the solutions between 0 and 360. Now to solve the equation, I'm going to do a bit of a review now of, um, you know, trig equations. To solve this equation, first of all, to f you're going to use your calculator to find what's called the principal solution. So you're going to put u equals inverse sine of a half. We, we want to find the angle 
for which the sine ratio is a half. So we use the inverse sine button on the calculator and we make sure that it's in degree mode. We make sure that it's in degree mode. So we take a calculator. We make sure that it's in degree mode, which it is. If it wasn't, you press setup, angle unit, and one for degrees in this particular calculator. So we're going to put inverse sine of a half, which is going to give us 30 degrees. So the calculator gives us only one answer, the principal solution, which in this case is 30 degrees. Okay, that's one of our solutions. However, there's another solution which shares the same cosine ratio, same sine ratio as this angle. And that angle is going to be 180 minus 30 degrees. So the other angle is going to be 180 minus 30 degrees, which is 150 degrees. So you have 30 degrees and you have 150 degrees. Those are the two solutions for that. And the reason why, you, you can think about it in lots of different ways. I like to think about it from the symmetry of the, the sine curve. Okay, so if we think about the sine curve, Okay, you have something like this. All right, if the sine curve between 0 and 360 looks something like this. Okay, not very well drawn, but still. All right, so up to there is 180. Up to there is 360. So 30 degrees is over here somewhere. Okay. And the sine curve over here somewhere, 30 degrees. There's another place over here which shares the same sine ratio as sine of 30. Okay, as a sine of 30. And that, that angle here, that is 30 degrees more than zero. And because this is symmetrical, this angle over here is 30 degrees less than 180. That's why it's 180 minus 30. So it's 150. So those are the two angles for u. Now for v, we find the first angle by doing inverse cosine of 1. Now that's going to give us 0 because the, the cosine curve looks like this. And we should know how they look. The well, cosine curve looks like this. It starts from 1. It goes down to 0 at 90 degrees, minus 1 at 180, 270 back to 0, and 360 back to 1 again. So at one, it's at 1 at, at 0 degrees. And the next place is at 1 is at 360 degrees. Okay, so you have 0. And the general rule to find the other angle for cosine is do 360 minus the angle we, we first got, minus the principal angle, which is going to be 360. So it's 0 degrees and 360 degrees for V. Those are the two values of V. And you can check to see, make sure, yes, both 0 and 360 are to be included in our answers. So those are the solutions within those ranges for these two um, equations. Okay, so we just, we know P is a half, and if you look at this equation compared to that one, P is in the place of sine U, so sine U is a half, and cosine, we know that Q is a half, uh, Q, Q is one, sorry, and cosine V is in the place of Q, so that means cosine V is one, so we solve each of these equations um, using trigonometry. So the calculator gives us the principal solution. If I did inverse cosine, of 1, I'll just show you, inverse cosine of, of 1, it's going to give you 0. That's the first angle, and then 360 minus 0 with the other angle. All right, so those are the solutions to this equation. And we could actually check if we wanted to, okay, by substituting these values in. But you know, if I put sine u, for example, if I use 30 degrees, the sine of 30 is a half. 2 times a half is 1. And the cosine of um, when, yeah, the cosine of v is 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 zero. Okay, so that's going to be zero. Okay, cosine of zero is one. So that's one plus one is two. And when u is one fifty, okay, then that's going to still give you a half, and that's still going to give you one. So that that works. And here, when when u is thirty, you have sine of thirty is a half, and cosine of zero is one. So a half minus one is minus a half. And the sine of 150 is, as we said, it's a half. Okay, and cosine of zero is, is one, a half, minus, a half minus one is minus half. So whichever angles you put in, you'll see you get the correct answer. All right, so there's your answer to part C. Um, and that, this, this particular question I'm going to save under trigonometry. So um, other questions from this particular paper 
you want to find um, find, find those, you'll find them in the playlist that is saved in this, or is linked in this uh, region over here at the end of the video. You'll be able to find um, my playlist on trigonometry, which will be in this, it'll be trig equations, IGCC questions in this particular playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch some videos which deal with um, how to, how to or watch the video so it tells you how to find material in my channel you might be interested in. Thank you for watching and see you soon.